Welcome back to Rick's Corner. I got Jerry Brandon back, and we're going to talk about uh, some subjects that I want to know about, and I think you do too. First of all, HG, HGH and IGF. What is the difference? Okay, basically, uh, of course, HGH is human growth hormone. Right. IGF stands for insulin like growth factor one. Insulin like growth factor one, you could look at as a product of uh, human growth hormone. Okay. When human growth hormone is secreted, uh, in the liver, it stimulates the production of uh, insulin-like growth factor one, right. and that production of IGF-1 in the liver travels systemically. It's attached to six different binding pro, uh, bind, what they call insulin-like growth factor binding proteins. Mm -hmm. One in particular is the mo most dominant. It's called insulin-like growth, uh, insulin -like growth factor binding protein three. Right? And when it's attached, just like testosterone is attached to sex hormone binding globulin, as long as it's attached to its protein, it's, um, it's not active. It has to be disassociated, but enzymes do that. And there's a, it's also uh, attached to something called acid labile, uh, something or other, acid labile. I can't remember the last uh, word, but th that's the way it basically travels in the blood now. Uh, the, the, the thing I have to remember about insulin -like growth factor one is that it's also produced, and this is kind of an important point, it's also produced directly in the muscle. That's called autocrine, autocrine paracrine is the medical term. It do, and what it does, it, it, in, the, in the muscle, this is really a, a big thing, it is one of the most anabolic substances in muscle known to man. Because what it does is it's, it does a number of things, but it stimulates the, the, uh, the, it kind of like wakes up what they call quiescent satellite cells. Right. Satellite cells are muscle stem, st stem cells that are used to both repair damaged muscles and build muscle. When you get, you hypertrophy, the muscles get bigger by satellite cells contributing their myonuclei to existing muscle cells. Right? So listen, IGF and HCG, <clears throat> I mean HCG, HGH, um, they can actually heal up injuries? They can heal up, in, yeah, very, very much so. Yeah, because remember, I, I talked in another video how HGH is very potent at stimulating connective tissue. Right. It actually stimulates connective t tissue more than muscle. After surgery, it would be good. Oh, uh, tremendous. You get tremendous. And AGF-1 is the same thing. All right, so if you're going to take one or the other, why would you take HGH if you could take IGF-1, which is the uh, step for forward from it? Well, the thing is, IGF-1, uh, actually, they, they do a, uh, two different things. I mean, a HGH is more involved in, let's say, lipolysis fat breakdown, okay. right? Okay. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, speech and metabolism. And burn yeah, fat. and it okay. has certain health effects that, uh, like, related to anti-aging. You've heard of uh, human growth hormone therapy? Of course. That you don't get quite from H, uh, IGF-1. In fact, they usually give, uh, the drug form, Incrolex is called, the drug form of, I, of IGF-1 is actually given to people that are refractory. To, in other words, like, let's say you go for HGH therapy, and for some reason it's not working, they'll give you a course of this Incrolex, which is IGF-1, uh, okay. to kind of kickstart everything, see? Right. And remember, IGF-1, uh, when you take it, turns off your own growth hormone. We have that feedback mechanism. Well, am I going to have that at 70? What's that? Growth hormone? Right. I mean, am I going to manufacture it? Uh, that's, a good, that's a good question. Yeah. And here's the answer. It's very interesting. Remember in the other video, we talked about how testosterone gradually goes down in men. Right. About 2% each year after age 30, right? right? Well, get this. The pituitary gland is where growth hormone is manufactured. It's, the pituitary gland is 8% growth hormone by weight. Your body makes growth hormone till you die. It's always making it. And you say, well, then why does it drop with aging a lot of mm -hmm, people? Mm -hmm. Because growth hormone output is controlled by two, two other substances. One of them is called growth hormone releasing hormone, which obviously kicks out growth hormone. Yeah. The other one's called somatostatin. That blocks, that, that puts a stop signal on growth hormone, right? Mm -hmm. As you get older, the proportions of these two substances change where somatostatin goes up and growth hormone and it kind of blocks the effects of growth hormone releasing hormone. So what happens is, even though your pituitary gland, gl gland is making the growth hormone, the somatostatin is blocking its release. So if you take an outside source of growth hormone, like injections, or remember we talked about the peptides. Yes. The peptides, but when that, if, uh, guys, if you saw that video, that kind of works around the somatostatin problem. Is the IGF one a, pep a peptide? Yeah, it's a, it's a it is a peptide. So so is growth hormone. Yeah. They're basically uh, IGF one is a uh, it's a uh, basically a long chain of seventy amino acids. Uh, right. The uh, growth hormone is a hundred and uh, uh, growth hormone is I believe if I remember correctly is one hundred ninety one amino acids. Right. Mm -hmm. Now they have a form of uh, uh, I mentioned earlier. There's a, a drug form of uh, of uh, uh, mechasermin. It's called. That's the generic name. Of, of IGF-1, right? Yeah. But they also sell a black market version that you get on the, this is the one you hear about the bodybuilders mm -hmm. using. This is called Long R3 
IGF-1. And what it does, remember I talked about those binding proteins? It somehow, uh, it, because of the way it's structured, it's a little bit longer than the normal. It's, it's basically 83 amino acids. But what it does is it somehow prevents the binding of the protein, of those uh, insulin binding proteins. So you get like a, a greater activity of IGF-1 and you get a longer activity of, it lasts much longer. So you have to understand when growth hormone is secreted, you know, naturally, it's gone in about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's hard to measure growth hormone. If you go in for a test and they say, well, Rick, we're going to see how your growth hormone is, what they will look at is IGF-1, not mm -hmm. growth hormone. Mm -hmm. Because remember those binding proteins? I, because of the binding proteins, IGF-1 lasts anywhere from 12 to as long as 24 hours in the blood. So they can measure it, see? And, and, they, and judging by your IGF-1, they could tell basically, they get a good idea of how your growth hormone output is, see? And that, that's basically how it works. How often do you have to take the growth hormone? What's the best way to take that? The best way to take it is uh, yeah, a dosage or, or a frequency? Both. Well, the truth is, uh, the, uh, people don't understand that the growth hormone, uh, the actual uh, injection, rather, you see, your physiological growth hormone is gone fast, right? right? Okay. But the, when you take an injection, it's structured where it lasts a little longer. Okay. It does not have to be taken every day. I'd say maybe every other day. Now, you could take it every day, too, <clears throat> but you could also get away with every other day. Okay, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, and if you want to take it every day, I'd say to use a little bit lower dosage. Uh, from what I understand, the bodybuilding dosage range anywhere from four units all the way up to, I've heard stories of 20 units I a have day, yeah. which is uh, some of the top pros are doing that, right. which amazes me because to treat a growth hormone deficiency where your body's not making any is one unit. That's mm -hmm. it. It's actually less than one unit. Right. One unit is, is the, uh, uh, I'm sorry, t uh, treats the uh, uh, like a, a dwarf. The only actual medical indication of a growth hormone is to treat a form of dwarfism. Mm -hmm. That's about a, a unit a day they can. Mm -hmm. If you're an older person on growth hormone therapy, you get less than a unit because they found that a unit actually causes side effects in older people. They get like what they call carpal tunnel syndrome, joint pains, they get gyno, or you know, various things, but if they keep it under a unit. They, they, uh, they've shown in study 15 years of growth hormone therapy, there's no side effects. Okay. And how much on the IGF? How much do you take of that? The uh, IGF, are uh, you talking about the uh, underground or the, uh, well, actually, they're both the same. Okay. Uh, the actual uh, uh, dosage range uh, is 60 to 100 micrograms. What is a microgram? I call a microgram. Okay. about that. Uh, here's very simple. Uh, a mic, you, you know, uh, you have a gram. All right, right? so you say you have an IU. Okay, and I, well, and I, you, that's a little complicated because, okay. it, but basically, a thousand micrograms equal one milligram. Okay. You get it? There's a 450 grams in a, a 454 grams in a pound. Okay. So grams are much larger. So micrograms are basically the smallest unit. Right. So, so you can see it's very powerful IGF 1. See? I was told that one microgram would be like, well, or 10 micro, 100 micrograms is one IU. Yeah, that's about that's that's true. That's okay. true. It's about one IU, okay. and the thing is, you don't. Uh, unlike uh, some of these other drugs, and, I, and a lot of guys, there's a lot of crap on that bro science garbage that you see on these these steroid websites, right. where they're telling people they massive amounts of, of uh, long R IGF one. Yeah, they're gonna screw these guys up. Don't listen to these morons, guys, because no. here's what happens. If you take, let me tell you something. Why is it called insulin like growth factor one? Insulin-like, insulin-like. It's very structurally similar to insulin, and it interacts with the insulin receptor. A hundred times less potent than insulin itself, but it produces insulin. What, what, what happens, Rick, what happens if you take too much insulin? You tell me. You'll, you'll go into uh, shock. You go into hypoglycemia. Yeah, yeah. That's what happens when you take too much. It's funny you say light because I had a casting director. Casting I was put out one time. We're looking for a Rick Grayson lookalike. Really? What the hell? Why would you call me? You know, <laughs> it's just like, well, the, the reason I bring this up is, yeah. as you know, I'm working with a clinic in Miami. Right. Dr. Richard Rodriguez, who knows this stuff. He has his labs. Everything's tested. It comes with readouts mm -hmm. of, of strengths and all this. And we had long, long talks about this. And he told me what I should be taking. It's all it's all verified uh, by medical labs, by him. It's prescription. Mm -hmm. But he's open to the public. And, and if you go on this site that I'm going to show you, and you can sign up, go on there and check it out. He'll work with you, and he'll put you on the right stuff That's great. at the right price. And uh, I'm a total believer that this company is legit. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to bring that up because I, I just really believe in this. If you want to do, do, it, do it right, don't go on this underground stuff and find things that are bogus. I want to, I want to just tell you one quick thing also. Yeah. In the, <clears throat> you have ever heard of gene doping? 
Yes, I have. Gene doping is the future oh, I of... I thought you meant the guy that used to go. No. Yeah, G, no, Gene <laughs> doping is that schmuck used to come to gold. He's another guy. But uh, <laughs> Dopey Gene, we call yeah. him. No, this, this is... Uh, this is... Uh, dope Gene... Uh, dope. No, no, Gene doping. Gene doping is the wave of the future. In other words, it's going to... One day, steroids and growth... It's all going to be like like a, like a horse and carrot yeah. stuff. Right? What Gene doping involves is actually injecting substances in directly into muscle into the actual let's say genetic structure of muscles into the cellular structure of muscles they use like viral vectors they're called and uh and the reason I'm, I'm talking about this one of them is with igf1 gene they can inject the gene for igf1 they've done it so far in uh, mice and rats i believe they inject this igf1 gene in the muscle <laughs> i can't help left almost overnight the rats muscle they lose all their fat and the muscle growth is averaging 15%, like 15%. Jeez. Now imagine a, a champion bodybuilder, and, and, and you can't test for it, yeah. right? And, and uh, it, it's like, it, it's, it's, it's amazing stuff. I mean, yeah. and here's, here's the part that I love more than any of it. You know, I'm, all right, the muscle growth is great, but get this, this is like shocking. It regenerates, you, any older guy's gonna love this. It regenerates muscle. It turns muscle back into teenage level. How nice is that? Right? In other words, your muscles would return like they were when you were a teenager. That's what I'm looking for. Is that incredible or yeah, what? Yeah. I want this stuff. Yeah, yeah, I do too. This is what I want. Forget steroids. I want IGF-1 gene therapy. Yeah, I'd be dripping at night when you're in bed. Yeah. Well, you answered my question. Let's talk real quick about your newsletter. Okay, the newsletter, Applied Metabolics newsletter, mm -hmm. and uh, I've gotten like really great feedback on it. The thing is, uh, I'm trying to find stuff that that's, you can't find anywhere else. It's like off-the-road stuff. Uh, this is like real in-depth information. It goes way beyond any magazine, any, way beyond any uh, website. And like I say, it, it's not just me presenting scientific material in a palatable manner, meaning uh, material that is not overly technical where you have to go to let's say med school or yeah. have a phd to understand I, I make it real simple i've been writing for, for almost 40 years so i know how to write but the thing is that there's another factor that you have to consider with this and that's you know how long i've been working out right sure. we, we've, we've known each other 45 years yeah, exactly. i've been working out for over 50 years we both have yeah and i'm putting all my experience everything i've learned in the way of nutrition and exercise I'm putting it in this newsletter. Whenever there's a chance of me adding my input based on my experience, I'm going to add it to this newsletter. This is obviously something you can't get anywhere else. There's nobody that could match that. No, no there's nobody can. with my experience that is doing that. So could you imagine? Imagine when you were a kid. Imagine if you had a guy who you can go to who had a, a 50 years of training and nutrition experience. W would you pay any money to listen to, to learn Absolutely. from this Absolutely. I'd pay anything. Well, the thing the thing is, and you're right, and there's subscriptions to magazines and, and this type of stuff because you want, you want information. But today, uh, generation, everything is free. iTunes is free. Yeah. And this is free. And I had said once before when we had TV, someday you're going to pay for TV. Now we pay for cable. Yeah. You know, it's just the way it is. I don't charge a lot. I charge no, 10, 10, 10 bucks. 33 dollars. Hey, I mean, hey, look, I, I'll be honest. I looked at another newsletter. Uh, I don't want to mention the name, but uh, this this one is put together by, uh, they probably have like 20 people putting together PhDs and they talk about all these Nobel Prize winners yeah, and stuff, yeah. right? And uh, they, they're charging, they charge $30 a month and honestly, it's a piece of garbage. There's nothing in there worth uh, reading. Uh, they, they, one of them, they have an article on, on uh, why the iPad, you're looking at an iPad at night causes you to have strained eyes. I mean, uh, that's really, uh, that, well, oh, I, that is so useful for You folks. know what, I have strained eyes from my computer, and I yeah. know I do. They get bloodshot, and, yeah. and I get off for a while because I am strained. But we yeah. all know that. Yeah. We can be told that. I mean, that's garbage. I mean, I mean, and that's three times the cost of my news. Exactly. So, I mean, that gives you an idea. What I'm, what I'm giving is practical, useful stuff that anyone who reads my newsletter will come away with stuff they could use right now, and it's going to improve everything. Yes. Everything, yes. mentally, physically, you name it. I and it's, at, it's located at, at www.appliedmetabolics.com. Okay, I'll anybody your banner I'm put up too. Yeah, anybody could subscribe. And I, I absolutely promise you, I've said this before, I'll say it again, you will learn something from every issue. People have been telling me who have been subscribers that I, I've kept my word about that. Yeah. I've taught them. So I just did an article on uh, the Complete Guide to Natural Bodybuilding Training. I've included everything known to science, and I put again. I put in my personal experiences. Yeah. Train, I, I put in the techniques that that you and I have used over the years yeah. that really work. Not the crap you see on the websites and the dumb videos that these guys who don't have these guys with the little skinny two-inch arms. You know, they'll do this, do this. You know, <laughs> come on. You know, talk yeah. to a guy who really has been around and knows what he's doing yeah, that's right. what i'm saying like you right. like me that type of thing you're right you know forget these uh these uh 
and he's uh well uh, you're right whatever well thank you for being here jerry <laughs> thank you and uh, you guys stay tuned next time i'll have jerry back throughout the year and we'll talk about all it's... kinds of stuff and if you want to write in and say you want us to talk about something let us know what you want to hear about oh yeah absolutely we'll sure talk about it. and stay hungry folks yeah absolutely i'm hungry right now i'm going to i'm hungry right? i'm gonna get a hamburger <laughs> thanks for watching <laughs> next time Time.